Hi guys, in today's video I want to do a quick review for you of something that I've actually had in my collection and I don't use really um, and I've been kind of waiting until I'm pale enough to do a review of it because it's quite a pale colour um, on me if I recall. This is kind of going to be first impressions again because I haven't used it in such a long time but I'm guessing the reason I don't use it is because I didn't really get on with it, spoiler alert. Um, so this is the IT Cosmetics CC Illumination it is SPF, which is pretty good, um, but it's very thick. Um, this is shade Fair Light. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much this is, if I'm honest. This was a gift from my mother, so um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I will look it up and I'll put it in the comments how much it is now. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is a pretty decent sized pot, and I do quite like the fact that it's got a pump on it as opposed to like a squeezy. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Um, so this is what it looks like. It actually doesn't look that light now I look at it, and it's a good consistency. Like it doesn't, it's not too runny, it's not too thick. Um, I'll apply it with my new It Cosmetics brush that you will know that is a recent purchase of mine if you saw the video the other day. Um, I've just done a video of an under eye patch, so I'm hoping that's not going to affect this, the performance of this. It smells like something. This might be the reason why I've not used it actually. It smells quite like, what do you say, aromatherapy oils or something in it? I find that it doesn't actually smell on my hand though. <laughs> this isn't, I think the reason also why I've probably not used it is because it's a lu it's luminous and I'm not really a fan of luminous things. But now I put it on, it's not actually as bad as I remember it being. That being said, that one pump didn't go very far. So I'll do another couple of pumps. This is a new brush though, but I haven't found that it's particularly eaten any of my other, um, well, I use BB cream generally every day. It just feels thick. It almost feels like a clay mask, like an aromatherapy clay mask, which is not what I want to be putting on my face as like a, a coverage. Um, it's definitely got some aromatherapy oils in there. I can definitely smell something which smells nice and if you're okay with that then then that's fine but personally i prefer things to be fragrance free because my skin is very sensitive i don't think i've had an issue with this though i don't think it's brought me out in any kind of rash or anything but i just i don't know there's something i just don't like it basically um but you can see it's just i think this is the same problem with all luminous foundations and i don't know if it's my skin or what but it just sits on my skin I basically look like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, where you can just see it sitting on top of my skin. Shiny. <laughs> it's very strange. Um, yeah, so this is obviously the reason why I've never used it. Like, I'm sure once I've blended this in forever and powdered it, it will be all right. But you can see how... I, I don't know if it's just that you're not supposed to use, like glowy um, foundations after a certain age but I just don't feel like that's a thing like you think it'd be the other way around that we should be using more dewy ones because our skin is a bit drier it's not good I'll see if I can fix it with some powder maybe but it just I thought the problem was the shade, but I don't think it is necessarily a particularly bad shade. I just don't, it doesn't, it's not covering up the bits I wanted to cover up, and it's just like highlighting everything else. <laughs> it's basically plus making my skin just feel a bit suffocated, basically. Like, yeah, not a fan. But if you want, if you just want to look at what the shade is like, and, and you you know think that this will work for you if you like luminous colors then that is what the shade looks like for fair light which actually isn't i thought it was too light for me but it's not <laughs> basically <laughs> which is weird because actually normally i can't find things that light enough so maybe actually at the time it was that it wasn't light enough and now and since then i've um, been on holiday so I've had a bit more of a tan so it's not been a problem and if you try and buff it into my hand then it doesn't seem to be a problem so maybe that is it like on younger skin it will buff in much better but 
on my skin it is not going well I'll see what it looks like once you put a bit of powder over the top um but yeah I certainly won't be reaching for it in the future <laughs> I don't know I just don't know I don't know if it's just me let me know in the comments do you have this problem with luminous things is it just because I'm a child of the 90s and we didn't we like everything to be matte I don't know I mean it is better with powder over the top but I still just feel like it's highlighting all my flaws look it's like just making me look I don't know like I've got a mask on it's really peculiar but I think that a lot of that is, in fairness, just my weird. I don't like to have anything too thick on my skin. And I can feel it, like, on my like eyelids and stuff. I can feel it like a, a film, basically. But that is just me, so that isn't the product, in fairness. And I've seen other people put this on and it looks great. So, it, And I don't think, actually, now you look at it with powder on it, is that bad? Obviously, I removed the colour from my lips. <laughs> but, like... Yeah, like the coverage is all right, actually, but I personally just don't get on with that whole thick, luminous thing. And I thought the whole point in a CC cream was that it was supposed to be a bit less coverage than foundation. But I mean, I guess anything with a 50 SPF in it is going to be fairly like thick as well. But yeah, all in all, I'm not a fan. I've been putting off doing this review because I didn't really want to be negative about it. But it's been sat in my drawer and I need to clear it out, basically. So there we go. That is my review. Um, I'm sorry it wasn't cheerier or more helpful. <laughs> um, but if you've enjoyed this video in any way, then please like and subscribe. And that's it for me. Thanks very much for listening. Good night.